Yes, you can! All right, so, got a little bit of a strange beer here, I'm thinking. Got another Thornbridge here. International beers, this is from Bakewell, United Kingdom. This is a 3.5% ABV. Um, it's called the White Gold Pale Ale, the Wild Swan, right? 3.5, this is probably the lowest ABV beer I think I've ever had, besides maybe a non-alcoholic beer, like so. 3.5. Uh, so I got the Stein out, right? Because this should go down pretty quick. And this should be fairly refreshing, I'm thinking. So, yeah. Ah, a bit of smoke. So this is the International Beer couple weeks here we're going on here. So this is, uh, I've been trying to do as many of these Thorn Bridges as, as uh, Wine Cavern has supplied me. I had to pay for them, don't worry. This is going to be unbiased. Oh, yeah, it's looking really white and fucking pale here. So, holy shit. Calm it down. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah. It smells like a freaking lager hop. Those bottles skunked. It's in a brown bottle. Odd. Uh, for best before, they have a best before date on here. 14, 13. Well, that's, that's quite old. It's over a year old. <laughs> if I'm reading that correctly. Well. Alright. Yeah. Lemon. Lemon hints. Lemon herbs. Spices. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is quite light. It's quite a, a skunky burn I'm getting off that head in this one. So, like I said, I really like their Imperial Russian Stout. Uh, I'm just hoping that this one isn't too old. 90413. 13's got to be 2013. It's 2014 now. You know, 2014's it's uh, it's uh, halfway through September 2014. Well, I taste some bottle skunked out of a brown bottle. And if it is old, it must have been really good to begin with because this isn't all that bad. It's just tasting like a real overly skunked Euro lager. A little bit of hop damage here, but it's still really good. And <clears throat> I'm not saying something, I am tasting the quality of the beer. Grain bill, uh, body, mouthfeel, excellent. The head's a bit, uh, it's a, a little bit, uh, you know, sorry, can't really see it that all that well. It's not as dense as it could be, but it's not, it, all in all, it's not horrible. Look at that color. It's even maybe a little bit lighter than that. So it's, uh, yeah, damn near verging on white ale from, you're getting a little bit more, a little bit more yellow than me. Well, this is the best old beer I've ever had. Uh, great mouthfeel, light, smooth, almost creamy, really. It's coming off. Uh, <clears throat> it's got it's got a nice smooth mouthfeel to it now, but I gotta say that the, the hops in here, it's like a like a lager style hop, and it's you know. I would say I'll try and come up with a verdict here. I'm thinking it's lagers, but still very crisp in, in the start here, so. I guess I gotta go out and say it's a lager. Although it is kind of it's a little bit smooth and and uh, greasy up front, but I, I don't see this as an ale. It says it's an ale. But to me, this tastes just like a fucking Euro lager, really. At three point something percent, it behaves like one. But it, like I said, it's a little bit smoother up front. That's the only thing that would even lead me, if I didn't see that it says ale, to to lead me to think that it was was an ale. It's just a little bit smoother up front, a little bit richer, a little bit creamier. And I guess I can see that from if you try to make a Canadian cream ale, 
you, you would think they're lager almost, but they're just way smoother and heavier up front. It's got a little bit of that, but it's so crisp and cold in the finish. Yeah, it's a pale ale, 3.5. It tastes like a bottle skunk to your lager. I can, basically, I would say this is like a Girlsh with an ale yeast. Girlsh with an ale yeast. And, uh, and a little bit thinner maybe to get down to 3, 3.5%. Uh, great lawnmower beer, or whatever. If you want to not get wasted while you're out doing yard work, this would be an excellent choice. Um, I have to say, I... I I never thought to check. I just grabbed it. There wasn't there wasn't, wasn't a whole lot to choose from on that rack anymore, but I haven't tried. So I wanted to do all the Thorn Bridge, and that's then I got an old one because I way somewhere all dark. I wasn't too worried about the expiration date. Well, for a beer that's over a year old, just barely over a year old. Um, uh, it's pretty good, really. I think I think this beer would be a nine, a solid nine out of eleven, if it was fresh. Uh, this bottle here, I'm gonna have to go down to an eight because it is a bit, you know, get some hop damage. It's a little bit old. Um, but yeah, this was a uh, this was getting kicked out the door. So there's another Thornbridge for you, just if you're curious. I wouldn't be uh, scared to pick it up if it was fresh. But uh, definitely screaming Eurologger in the hoppage. Berserker, and I'm out.